How's it going, everyone? My name is Nori Play, so welcome to a. Um, to a. Um, to a. To a. I can hear you! Brand new. Damn right, you heard it. Brand new reaction series. And this one we're reacting to the Mandela Catalog Volume 1 and potentially Volume 2 if we have time. We'll see how it goes. But in between, I want to cover some of the other little bits of videos that Alex Kister has done to add extra information to the volumes because these are going to come in really key uh, to give a lot of key information and get the main idea uh, across. So without further ado, this is Overthrown. So this is what happens before Volume 1. This is the very first Mandela Catalog video. Let's get right into the video. Don't be afraid. I bring good news of great joy for you and all people. Tonight, your Savior was born in Davidstown. He is Christ, the Lord. You will find him wrapped in swaddle cloth, lying in a manger. I thought I missed something there. Rejoice, Jesus born. Interesting. So it starts off. There was a woman named Mary who lived in the city of Nazareth. She was in love with a man named Joseph. Mary was young and the virgin, but she got a very special message from an angel named. Interesting. I am the, the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? Okay, so this I'm going to decode in this video, because this is binary, so we can actually decode the message in this. I know how to do this. And I'm glad I turned on the subtitles, because I figured there'd be secrets in there. Whatever God wants, I will do. Oh, there he is. Is he like the boss alternate? Is am I getting that right? I will know their greatest fear. I will know your greatest fear. Wake up, Joseph. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. That's a lot of wake ups. Oh. How is that? Oh, cool. Don't get any closer now. Right there, yeah. Right there is good. Don't be afraid, my dear shepherds. I have great news. I am your true savior. I know everything about what makes you human. I know what you love. I know what you dread. Oh. And that is the first alternate. How frozen I oh wait, I think it will talk about it, won't it? If not, I'll read it later. Oh, maybe it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. Can't you see? I deceived them. Who's them? The followers of Christ? Such, such weak minds. And this is Angel Gabriel talking. I think I am bound to chains on my ankles. I grow heavier with every step. The infinite amount of sand will be my tomb. And my foolishness will be my legacy. If there is a God, please help me. <laughs> Did 
the end and that's how it ends okay so i want to go back real quick to this that this was insane so i'm gonna attempt to copy this and see what it says all right let's get right to it okay so as you can see the first one says i am the one true okay i am the one true and if we go to the next one in the transcript, I think I'm just going to copy them all over and then we'll see kind of what happens there. All right, let's see what this says. I am the one true savior. I must reverse the delusion. Joseph is next. So Gabriel obviously thinks he's the true savior instead of Joseph. Uh, Joseph isn't Joseph Mary. So I assume Gabriel was involved at some point, I don't really know how the lore of the Jesus Christ Lord goes down, but Gabriel was definitely a part of that. I think it was one of the angels. So I must reverse the delusion. So the delusion is what in this case? The delusion with Christ? Something like that? I am the one true savior. So obviously Jesus Christ being the savior, Gabriel thinks it's supposed to be him instead. So... Yeah, I don't know about that one. Also, there's one thing I want to read in the end there. How frozen I became and powerless then. Ask it not, reader. For I write it not, because all language would be insufficient. I did not die, and I alive remain not. So he's somewhere in limbo. Think for myself, thyself now, hast thou aught of wit? What I became, being of both deprived. So this is like the first major alternate in the story is what I'm made to believe right now. Is that Angel Gabriel started at all and then it all kind of unraveled there and so on and so forth. So Overthrown was very cool because it starts with, you know, the story of Jesus and get, then Gabriel introducing himself as the kind of main villain, I want to say, or main entity. Um, and obviously this bit with Can't You See... I deceived them, the weak minds. So this could actually not be Gabriel because he said Joseph was deceived or something like that in the binary code. So yeah, reverse the delusion. So I don't really know what's happening. If you know what's happening in Overthrown, please let me know down below in the comments. But without further ado, let us move on to the next video from Alex Kister in the Mandela Catalog series. Okay, here we go. So this is Mandela Catalog, the first volume. Obviously, uh, we moved on from the Gabriel stuff. So now I'm interested to see what is happening within the actual story here. All right, let's get right into it. Temporal phenomena. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. Mm. If one manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. I wonder if you could decrypt this. Into like Morse code? I don't, I don't think you can. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate... Also, subtitles were off this whole time. I probably missed some stuff, so do forgive me for that. ...for attempts at executing them yourself. The event of an alternate encounter followed the Think Principle. principle tell an authority figure about your encounter hinder the alternate's movement so I'm gonna drag those over here identify the class type 
neutralize the alternate if safe to do so. So they can be killed. I think I'm made to believe that they can be killed. Kill yourself. There's not enough room for the two of us. I will not be doing that, thank you. Know your place in reality. Okay. Know your enemy. Type 1, the doppelganger. Really, you can hardly tell. Type 3. I mean, there's clearly something missing there. Let me tell you what. <laughs> it's so cool. I love analog horror. Because it's like it's showing how the actual entity or the phenomena is breaking through the cassette tape and through the TV itself and through the recording. Victim 1 and Victim 2. Mark Heathcliff and Caesar Torres. Hope I said those right. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you right? Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Oh, well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't, I don't know. It's the alternate, isn't it? All right. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing, try to get a good view of the Interesting. Uh, okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. I feel like the text is a bit too big though, but I'll adjust that as time goes on. I don't want to get too annoying with it. Okay, so clearly that was an alternate calling him. In disguise. I mean, it's plain as day. I think he's getting tricked and he's gonna become one as well. Uh, so Mark, GG, already. I think that's a given, so that, that Caesar was a fake Caesar. Okay, we have arrived at the destination. I'm so worried here. in the house yet? Oh, here we go. Whoa. It's so creepy. Are the cameras already installed or is he installing them now and it's showing the footage from that? The car? Did he manage to leave? Motion detected at 3 a.m. Three in the morning, almost four in the morning. Uh, okay. That's very subtle. What the hell? 
could hear the window breaking. Oh, shit. Wait, the door's open. <laughs> Sound increase detected at 5 a.m.? Who are you? G get away from me! No! <sighs> it followed me home, Caesar. I don't know why the subtitles are coming from the left like that. I do not want to see what is going on the other side. Or what is on the other side. But it has been days. It's an alternate, and nobody has come to help me. You fucking bastard! Okay, the subtitles are not subtitling very well. Bad decision, Mark. So shooting them does nothing. It's so quiet. Cool. Hey. Are you coming to possess me as well? Jesus. Talk about greedy. Nobody came. He shot himself. Wait, I think he shot himself. If it's censoring his head. Viewing of the following footage is illegal and punishable by law if not previously cleared with your assistant. If you have access to this recording and are not part of your local authority, please stop the video and discard. Uh, probably discard the recording. Training video position emergency call operator. While at the station, a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller. A po po! When the caller needs the police, send available personnel to the address. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. That's pretty obvious. Medical. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. Yeah, I'll contact the Mandela Community Hospital. Mandela County Police Department, we thank you for viewing this instruction. Encounter. Oh, I think I saw a face there. Do not help a caller reporting an alternate encounter. No matter for how frantic their screams are. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. The call can be ended when they stop responding to your questions. Do not speak too much. You might accidentally reveal your fear. Oh yeah, because Gabriel nothing preys on your fear. Risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Toddler stress assessment video. Record your child's responses to the following media. 
Section 1. Ah, sounds of birds. Nice. Peaceful. Record response? Ah. That's my response. Awesome, but getting a bit creepier now. Awesome, but getting a bit creepier now. Hope I recorded it. That's just goofy. Daddy didn't tuck me in. And there is a man in the closet. Oh. The Scary Night by Mark, age four. School, Mandela Elementary School, grade 4K. Caught in 4K? Daddy didn't check under my bed last night. Oh my god. So I went to mummy's room. I was scared. There was scary knocking on the door. And the scariest part is walking by the dark room. By the stairs. Scary me. <laughs> cool. Almost at mummy's room. Then I saw the man in the corner. Oh no. GG. Game over. Him. And then I fell asleep. The end. I'm pretty sure that's not what happened. I'm pretty sure it took over the boy's identity. Section 2. A cat. Un chat. Très bien. Uh, homme, femme, pom, whatever. A balloon. Ballon. I don't know how the hell you say that in French. Ah. Uh. The scary room by the stairs. It's the guy. What's up? An intruder. You are an intruder, yes. Module complete. If anything unexpected occur during the test, let your advisor know immediately. Advisor! Something went wrong! Damn. Well, this one had a little bit less Easter eggs in it than before. It was pretty certain what was happening. So guns don't work. Guns don't work. You can't hide. You can't run from them. Uh, man, what a series this is going to be. The Della Catalog has so many like hidden treasures uh, buried within it. And as always, I'll link... All the videos that I've been watching down below in the description so that you guys can check it out yourself. In the next one, we'll check out three of the shorter videos, which are Intruder Alert, the one without a title, and an exhibition, as well as Volume 2. So I kind of want to keep it consistent and build up to each volume. Oh, this is, this is going to be so interesting. Let me know if I missed anything. I hope I didn't miss a whole lot too much. Obviously, I'm trying to keep as much attention to detail as I can while I'm recording at the same time doing this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really interesting. If you enjoy, make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below with your thoughts about the Mandela Catalog series. Are you enjoying it? Did you enjoy it? Hopefully we can catch up. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.